Hello boys and girls, it's time for a magical tale of zombies and survival. This is the Susing Dead. On streets and in hollows, in building and house, the walkers were walking, shoving guts in their snouts. The Rick Tickle said, See this place that I found? A correctional facility where supplies abound. The Lorix, Hershushal, and Mr. Dardoodle all helped in an effort to clean up the place. But when poor Hershushal's leg got a nibble, they chopped the thing off, just to be safe. But hark! What is this? Not too far away was a quaint little hamlet where more survivors stayed. And king of this village, lord of the keep, they called him the governor. He watched over his sheep. But the governor had hobbies, interests, quite strange. Kept squirming heads in jars and other entertainment deranged. The governor took hostages and performed other misdeeds. So the clan from the prison snuck into Woodbury through the weeds. Mishoni killed the zombified daughter with her trademark samurai sword. And the governor's eye, she happily saw. What a thing to do, how rude and untoward. When the governor attacked, the whole group was miffed. Rictical tried to bargain, but it was a sinister trick. Now Merle was a walker, and Andalump was bit. Dardoodle killed his brother. And just for time's sake, we skipped a lot of complicated <laughs> The people of Woodbury, almost everyone, young and old, ended up getting killed. It was murder most cold. So Rictical and his clan, and whoever else survived, went back to their prison, dirty and tired, but still alive. For the next season, we'll have to wait for October. And for those who read the comics, we beg you, please, no spoilers. Yeah, yeah.